Hello guys and welcome to a new episode of The Road to Glory. Uh, we finished the weekend league, uh, I actually finished uh, yesterday on Saturday, I played all my games. Uh, as you saw here at the beginning, I tried to speed up the video because I managed to play all the games yesterday, so I have mostly highlights of all the games that I played, so I had to speed it up at the, at the beginning. Uh, I showed that I had uh, 21 games left and then yesterday's video I said that I played 10 games on Friday so I'm not sure how I thought I played 10 games but I only played 9 anyways so I had uh, 9 games played on Friday so I was 4 and 5 apparently and I started on Saturday around 12, 12ish something like that uh, with the first game here as you can see uh, with a comfortable win um, winning 4-1. The game felt alright. Uh, I played uh, really well. The passes were connecting, good in defense, uh, everything was looking great. Uh, the teams that I was uh, playing against this time was not the same teams that I was playing on Friday. Uh, on Friday, like I mentioned, all the teams were like a million, two million, somewhere around that range. Uh, this time around, uh, the teams were closer to my team, uh, as you will see later in the video, um, how, the, how much the value of my team is. Uh, so I felt more comfortable playing uh, opponents like these. Um, so that's why I had a great start, as you can see here, I saved the penalty and I won the second game as well. So I went 2-0 two, two and, oh, and we reached uh, 6 wins here. Um, like you can see at the beginning, most of the teams that I'm facing are sort of the same. Now, a few of the problems that I want to talk about. First of all, is uh, the bounce, the ball bouncing around weirdly after shots. Um, I don't know, I've, I've been encountering this a lot. Um, something that everybody talks about it. Uh, it's not even realistic because I don't know how many games you will see in real life and see the ball bouncing around like that. Um, and second of all is the defending, although a lot was uh, said about this year being uh, the year of manual defending and I was uh, really looking forward to that because as you will see in most of my videos, I always manual defend. That's why I pay for my uh, uh, losses because I immediately switch to players, pull them out of position because I want to manual defend. I don't want to sit back there and just wait for my, the AI to do the, the work. Uh, as you can see here, I went to the third game, I went to penalties. Again, um, for some reason, I couldn't make them. Actually, I was actually make them on target this time, but um, I failed. Uh, once again, with uh, the penalty shootout, it's, it's really bad this year. Uh, I can seem to get a hold of it, uh, how to work it out. Anyways, we'll get there. Uh, so like I said, and what I've been encountering is a lot of people, uh, like everyone is saying, is uh, playing uh, uh, drop back, uh, low depth, like one depth, uh, and just uh, marking with uh, a cam or even a defender and having eight players in the box, uh, letting them do all the business there. So it's really hard to break down, uh, especially if you get hit on the counter. Um, I don't like to sit back. Here, as you saw, after the penalty shootout, I went on a break and took some penalty uh, kicks to try and practice. Um, so I think I had a better understanding next time. And so like I said, a lot of people are just uh, AI defending, which is weird because everybody was saying at the beginning that this is going to be uh, very manual defending. So the people that were AI based defenders are going to have a hard time. I'm not seeing this at all. I think it's the same thing. Uh, nothing has changed uh, on those in, in that respect. Um, most of the games that I could win or have, or have won are people that are not manual defending. The ones that are manual defending, uh, I tell you, it's really hard to break down the AI once it sits back with like eight players. Uh, I don't know if I put the clip in, but uh, you, we, there was a game I played that this guy had, had Muriel up front and he was putting him all the way uh, down to the left back side um, and he was covering Joao Felix which is my right uh, winger and he was pulling Muriel all the way from the attack 
back to the left back side and he was winning he won the ball like two three times there and then he was just sprinting back out uh trying to get uh, on the attack so that's really a frustrating thing um i know that's sort of the meta right now and everybody is saying if you want to win that's what you have to play but that's not really how you're supposed to play this game i mean i play this game because i like football real life football so i like to play this because of that so when i play the game i want to have fun um of course it's frustrating when you lose and you blame everything but at the end when the game finishes you have to realize it's your own fault and you have to live with the choice that you make i make the choice not to play like that uh not to play the meta formation not to play the uh, meta tactics or whatever uh, i play with what i feel comfortable and that's the way i try to progress and get better now of course the result is not uh, oh here i put this because you'll see game freeze which is right here i have not stopped the video this is real time and then you have speed up lag right here look at this there you go in a perfect game in foot champions no lag the whole game then all of a sudden that happens um, anyways, like I said, so it doesn't really bother me. Uh, I'm not here trying to get a, like a, a lead or whatever in the first week because there's no point to a road to glory if you could actually achieve that in the first week. I mean, what are you doing for the rest of the 30, 40 weeks that is left of this game? Uh, it's supposed to be uh, something that you try to achieve slowly and with your own uh, mind on how you want to do things, not copy what everybody else is doing and trying to achieve the same thing. So with that being said, uh, I said that I was aiming for uh, a gold finish, uh, somewhere around there. Realistically, uh, the lowest I was hoping for was going to be gold too. Um, because like I said, uh, from what I played in Division Rivals, I'm not yet uh, on the same level that I was next year, uh, last year. So uh, I, I realistically, I couldn't expect the same finishes uh, that I was getting last year. So I was hoping for at least gold two, and uh, I reached uh, that objective, uh, as you will see uh, here. This this because it was frustrating. This now on the kickoff, you'll see my pass button on the controller get stuck. That's why I'm passing around the ball. Here I unstuck it for a second, then it got stuck again. As you can see, I'm passing the ball around automatically right away. I'm trying to press buttons to get the the button, the, the pass button unstuck, but it's not happening. You see here, it's still passing around. I'm trying to unstuck it and then I get scored on. And that's two nil and that's the game lost. I think then I lost like the three, four nil after that. Uh, so uh, a lot of stuff uh, happens even in foot champions. That's why I add these uh, in. So because I know uh, same things like this happen to a lot of you. So don't get discouraged because you go on Twitter or you're on your favorite streamers and you see they're like, ah, oh, I got 30 and oh, I got 28 and two and I, whatever. Um, it's not because they are pros. They play the game for a long time. So you cannot compare yourself to that. Uh, aim for something uh, that you can achieve that's realistic and if you if you can achieve that be happy it doesn't matter if it's a silver two or gold one or bronze one or whatever that is uh, be happy with that open your rewards be happy with what you get and try next week to get better there's no point in getting frustrated and saying oh the game is broken and because of that i lost this and that uh, I can say that about a bunch of games that I'm showing here. Uh, I even added some clips where um, I could have won a game um, and I'm losing some stupid chances that I shouldn't be losing. So if I won those games that I should, I would have been in a better position. But um, you have to face the fact that this is the position that you're in. Uh, I'm happy with uh, how I finished. Uh, so I aim to get a better finish next week and I am to progress this road to glory to actually get glory. Now, um, I sold the, all my team yesterday after I finished the games, uh, like you're gonna see. Um, I don't know what's happening with the market, also with the rumor here that there's, no, that there's not gonna be any SBC, league SBCs. So I am, I'm kind of thinking, I'm not a market expert, but I think maybe the market is gonna go down a bit. And because I'm full of low rated players, I think they're very volatile in their price. Uh, 
uh, especially non-board players. So with that in mind, I had to sell it. I got uh, about the same amount of money. Some pairs I sold for like a K less, but some I sold for a couple more or a few thousand more. So I think I made the market cut that I lost. So I got about the same amount of money that I had. Um, so I have about 310, 315,000 um, with only untradables and a few 82, 83s, which are the max values. Of course, I have a lot of players. I have like 500 or something players in the club, but they're all worth like discard value. Uh, so with that in mind, I sold the, all the players and I'm thinking about maybe doing a new team. Um, the only player that stands out that I'm probably going to use again is going to be Morales. This player is fantastic. If you need a cheap player, he's around 8K or under 8K. Buy this player if you can't fit him in the team. Put him as a super sub, a sub him in right away. He's four star, four star. He's very fast. He's very clinical. He's good, uh, good passing. This is a fantastic card. This is the best card I've played so far. So as you can see, I finished at 14 wins here. The next win I played to see if I can go for that. I lost it. So I only had three games. So I had to clutch up three games. I couldn't. Uh, I last I went 14 and 14 actually with two games remaining. I didn't play them. Here you can see I sold the whole team. Uh, everybody, um, Morales I sold for eight something, but I bought back for 7.5 at a CM position, so I didn't have to position change him, which was a big win for me. And his uh, here is the squad that I have left um, to try to build something around. Uh, so that's going to be it for now. Uh, click the like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.